What is up guys, this is Ferdin here with another tutorial in Cinema 4D. Now this one's going to be a lighting tutorial. Now, um, I've always said about using light in the net, but somebody, well I got the message the other day that somebody would like to see how to actually set up the lighting. Um, because I haven't actually shown that yet, which is a, a really good point actually. I'm rambling on about it, but I haven't actually shown anybody how to do it. So, um, this is how I would do my lighting. Um, uh, I would stick to area lights um, just because they do give a good lighting set but it depends how you use it. Now I'm going to run through a character um, how to light a character correctly well not correctly but this is how I do it um, what I do is I'll go and hit an area light up oh, oops I'll just turn off the equal o keyframe button so now I've got this area light and the first one I would like to do is the key light so if you want to just rename that key, um, and the key light basically is the main light that illuminates the model. So what I'll do, sorry, what I'll do is I'll just shove that up here and a bit to the right. Um, so as we can see, there is light now on our character, the main light that we will see because we'll be seeing the front of the character, obviously. Um, if it was the back, then it'd be the other side. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just usually just rotate that just so it's facing down on him. Not compulsory. But I just like doing it. Um, acts like a spotlight, if, if that makes sense. So now we've got that. We'll uh, we'll add some colour to it. Now for the key light, it needs to be an orangey colour. Now this is where most people might get confused. They might go and then pick an orange colour like that, and that is way too dark. You need to make the colours really bland. Um, as you can see here in the colour picker. Oh, that don't even get bigger. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, this is quite a bright orange, isn't it? So what we need to do is we need to take this point all the way to near enough the white side. Um, around about here, I would say, it's got a little bit of orange in it, mostly white. Um, maybe just a bit to the left, actually. Make sure that is orangey, about there. And then hit OK. Um, now, as you can see, there is actually some orange on him. So the slightest light will illuminate. So um, I wouldn't overdo it. Uh, that's my my advice. Um, so that's our key light setup. What we'll do now is we'll set up our fill light. So we'll copy and paste that, rename it to fill, and the fill light acts. Um, well, the fill light's job is to basically diffuse the shadows. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put that on the other side and slightly to, towards the side of the character as well and a bit lower down and we'll just rotate that so it's sort of facing him I'd say that was good enough move that there and this one needs to be a blue colour um, so all we need to do, because we've copied and pasted it, it's still got the same colour instead of moving this point around again just move the top one all the way to like a, a light bluish there we go, that'll do. Like a baby blue. Um, and then that's pretty much all set. So as you can see here, we have our orange and then we have our blue this side. If I remove the blue, you can see the difference. All these dark shadows on the left hand side are being created by the fill light. Uh, the, the key light, sorry. Um, so the fill light will fill in those shadows. So if you just look at this area and I click on, you can see that these shadows turn to blue and that's basically how the fill light works however there are still shadows on the model but they aren't dark as hell if that makes sense so then we just copy and paste the fill light we'll call this back and that's a backlight and what we'll do is we'll just shove that directly to the back of the model and the reason for that is because if I take this off the model's completely black. Um, and when you're looking at a, a f um, sort of at like a, a front view, it will look very 2D ish, if that makes sense. Um, so we need to make it three dimensional, or we'll look like three dimensional. So what we'll do is we'll position that just beh behind him, make it face him, and we will turn that to just a solid white. Now, it's from this point that you'll start to create your lighting. Um, because what you can do is you can turn the intensity of each light up. 
Now, I'm just going to play around with this. So for the backlight, I'm going to turn it to 150. So it's quite bright. The fill light, I'll probably only go to 75%. And for the fill light, I might just keep that at 100. So what I'll do is I'll just group these and then rename them lights. And then what I'll do is I'll just hide them. So, oh, by the way, this character is for an animation. <laughs> it looks a bit weird now. I, ha I have to adjust the halo because it's too bright. Um, I might need to make it a more bland color. Like I said, it's too orangey. Bring it down, add a bit more white to it. Um, I don't know whether that will make a difference. The glow color as well. More blandish. And luminance. That might just make it, that's a bit better than a, a big bright halo, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is what our model is like. Actually, what we'll do is, this is our model without lighting. So it's very 2D, you can just see it. There's no, you know, obviously you can tell it's 3D, but without the shadows, it looks just two-dimensional. However, with, with the shadows, oh no, sorry, I've just done something wrong. Before you do that, guys, Select all of these lights and come down to the shadow tab. Now there will be no shadow on. If you click on that and you go to area and then you can click render. And then this is our model with lighting. Actually, you know what? You know, I'll just add a background on just so you guys can see. And then let that render. And as you can start to see, there is life in our character. There are shadows, there are colours, there is, believe it or not, orange blue there. Um, but because I've turned the blue down, you know, it obviously diffuses these shadows. However, there is still shadows left, but it just diffuses them, brightens them up a bit more. But still, if you're not happy with the amount of shadows that are being created, you can always just go select all of these lights, come back to the shadow, shadow tab, and select the density and bring that down to 50% and that's half the shadows and you can just have a little bit of a play around reposition the lightings because if something's going funny on this chest too much like black shadow on his chest just start moving the lighting around have a little play see where you know what positions are good what intensities like the brightness of the color what the colors like how the shadows are like and that's basically what you have to do but the main key points is to have a key fill and backlight. The key fill to shine onto the model, the fill light to fill in the shadows from the side, and the back is to illuminate the back to make it three dimensional, just so it's not all black around the edges. You know, so it it does in a way light up the whole model. And that's pretty much all I can say, guys. It's more just like practice, see what's best for you see what you like and just go from there. Now, it might take a bit of time, but that's just how things are in uh, animation. Uh, you just have to develop the skill yourself. Just, you know, just the more you do it, the better understanding you get of it, um, which will help you in the future. So, you know, it, it'll be bloody brilliant if we can just do it and we'll learn it and that'll be amazing. But for me, that's not the case, but for you, it might be, but you never know. So. Have a little play around. Please like and comment on the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.